Assalamualaikum, dear students. Uh, welcome to uh, the class. And uh, today we have got very important topic uh, to discuss. Uh, and this topic is about uh, the missile defense systems impact on global strategic environment. This topic is uh, included in the uh, CSS uh, IR part two. And uh, this is topic number seven. And uh, in this particular um, topic, we are going to discuss about the uh, concept of uh, missile defense and how it is impacting the global security. So let's quickly analyze, first of all, uh, that um, uh, you know, missile defense or missile defense system, BMD system, uh, what is the concept behind? We need to understand that particular thing initially. So um, uh, soon after World War II and um, uh, United States of America and Soviet Union, they started developing uh, long range missiles, intermediate missiles and uh, you know other capabilities uh, which could destroy these states uh, for many times over. Now to overcome this threat, the idea of ballistic missile defense also came up with that. So both countries, United States of America and Soviet Union started developing um, you know, different uh, ballistic missile defense systems just to protect themselves from any incoming missile, aircraft, um, you know, or other aerial threats. So this was the idea behind. And uh, initially, both states uh, in the 70s, they realized now that um, developing more and more capabilities, missiles and air, air, air defense systems, ABM, they came up with the idea of ABM, Anti-Ballistic Missile Defense Treaty. So the idea was that both states would only deploy 100 interceptors to uh, protect their uh, premium assets or their nuclear sites. Because if you deploy more and more air defense systems, so the other side would believe um, that um, my missiles may not penetrate the enemy territory. So in that scenario, the, uh, the first party A may think invincible and they may try to you know, attack that country or they may go for some you know, misadventure. So this was the idea behind that you need to maintain balance. In 2002, the ABM treaty was abolished and by the United States of America and Soviet Union, they ended that treaty. Why? Because um, you know, many, many um, other projects came up. United States of America developed more and more uh, sophisticated missile systems. They came up with the idea of uh, you know, ballistic missile defense in the Europe just to counter the rogue states, so-called rogue, rogue states like North Korea, they claim it, and uh, Iran, they claim it as rogue states. So just to counter this particular threat, they came up with the idea, a missile defense shield in Europe. So uh, that was the time, that was the idea behind, and uh, this threat is there. And you need to understand this concept. The idea behind missile defense or uh, ballistic missile defense is just to protect yourself from any incoming missiles, ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, aircraft, UAVs, or any other aerial threat from the enemy. <clears throat> so this is the idea behind. So first of all, you need to understand the ballistic missile uh, and classification of ballistic missiles. There are four uh, basic types of class, you know, uh, ballistic missiles. The first is short range ballistic missiles, uh, which can travel uh, not more than 1000 kilometers. So, any missile less than 1000 kilometer is called as short range ballistic missiles. Then you got, um, you know, for example, uh, some of the missiles you can see in, uh, in modern times in Gaza, uh, the Hamas, they possess, you know, short range missiles and the other countries, Pakistan, India, and many other states, they have also developed short range missiles uh, whose, uh, you know, uh, capability or whose uh, range is less than 1000 kilometers. So anything, any missile less than 1,000 kilometer is considered as short range missile. Then you got medium range ballistic missiles, which are which travel, uh, you know, uh, between 1,000 to 3,000 kilometers of range. So any missile which is uh, less than uh, 3,000 kilometer range, um, that is called medium range ballistic missile. Pakistan is the country which possess most of their missiles. In fact. They are medium range ballistic missiles. Our maximum range is 27,000, uh, 2750 kilometers. So uh, Pakistan comes in this category and uh, many other countries like uh, India, 
um, North Korea and many other powers like Israel, they also possess, uh, you know, uh, medium range ballistic missile. The third and the most important uh, form or lethal form, I would say, of uh, ballistic missiles is the ICBMs. Or uh, no, uh, before ICBMs, there is intermediate range ballistic missiles, uh, which are about three to 5,500 kilometers. India possesses this missile, 5,000 kilometers, Surya, which has got a range of about 5,000 kilometers. And then you got many other developed countries like UK, France, America, Russia. Um, so they also possess uh, such uh, range nuclear uh, weapons. And the last one is intercontinental ballistic missile. Uh, and this particular missile can, uh, by the name it suggests intercontinental, that it can travel from one continent to another. And it has a range of uh, more than 5,500 kilometer. And uh, currently 16,000 kilometer, 15,000 kilometer, 14,000 kilometer, uh, you know, uh, such missiles are there. And we'll discuss in the coming slides. <clears throat> like for example, as you can see, Russia, uh, they have developed longest range intercontinental ballistic missiles, uh, which has got a range of about uh, 16,000 kilometers. And then you got uh, China, which has got a 13,000 kilometer range, and the US, 11,000 kilometer. And there are many other countries who have developed, uh, mostly the P-5, they have developed uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. So currently, if you analyze, um, there are 31 countries uh, which possess ballistic missiles, and only there are nine countries which possess, you know, uh, ballistic missiles with nuclear capability. And those nine states are P5, China, France, um, US and uh, UK, and uh, along with, uh, you know, um, so these are the five states and um, uh, France, and they are the five states who are considered as P5, permanent uh, members of the United Nations Security Council. And then you got uh, non-signatory to NPD, Pakistan, North Korea, India, and Israel. They are de facto nuclear weapon states, and they developed nuclear weapons after 1967 NPD. So these are the nine countries which possess nuclear weapons, and the other 30 other countries, uh, you know, other than these nine, they possess ballistic missile uh, capabilities, but they are not nuclear. They are conventional weapons. So um, other types of missiles, um, there are, you know, generally the countries, they feared uh, ballistic uh, missile uh, threats from uh, each other, like for example, the US and uh, United States, uh, USSR, they, they faced threat from the ballistic missiles, intermediate and the long range ballistic missile, ICBMs, for example. But there are now, uh, there are new categories of, uh, uh, you know, nuclear and conventional missiles are coming up. For example, um, uh, uh, hypersonic missiles, and uh, then you've got cruise missile capabilities. Now, these okay, such type of capabilities are also a threat uh, to the stability of a country. So according to the Trump administration's 2019 missile defense review, most clearly noted that the United States will be looking for ways to defend against non-ballistic missiles. And these are cruise missiles, uh, ALCMs, uh, you know, air launch cruise missiles, or L. Uh, SLCMs like uh, summary launch cruise missile. So these are the capabilities which are seriously impacting the security of different countries because these missiles, um, they have got uh, capabilities to evade radars. So such type of missiles are real threat.